All right, over to you. Hey, thank you. Can you hear me? Okay. Hello, everyone. It's Sajjad, and today I'm presenting uh, the work that we uh, used uh, open analytics data to create a reviewer assignment model at Reviewerly, which is a high quality peer reviewer suggestion application. So, first, let's take a look at what I'm going to present today uh, in this presentation. First of all, uh, I'll introduce our task, which is a peer reviewing, and also the way that we assign reviewer to the uh, submitted papers to a, a venue, to a conference, to a journal. And after that, we will take a look at the challenges of uh, this process and also how we formulated the uh, problem to solve it and also to create the models. Uh, and after that, we have some uh, technical detail about uh, the model that we created for this text, for this test. And also at the end, uh, I introduced some of our products in review early. Uh, maybe you should uh, use it in the future or in your uh, team's unit. So let's take a look at the uh, peer review process from the submission to the publication. Uh, if you want to uh, publish a paper in a conference or in a journal, the, the first step is to uh, submit it in a system, and then uh, the system will assign some uh, reviewers to your uh, to review your paper and also uh, to uh, read it, and then uh, they should leave some comments and discuss it with the uh, SPC to, uh, at the end, uh, make a decision for your paper, whether it will be uh, rejected or got accepted at the uh, conference or that journal. But the things that is very important here is the reviewer that uh, analyze and check your paper, because uh, if the reviewer isn't um, really expert in uh, the area that you work on or uh, didn't know uh, the um, uh, area that you work, uh, maybe uh, there are some uh, misinterpretation of your work and uh, maybe you can't understand uh, the task, the data set, the architecture you use, so uh, your paper will be rejected easily. And uh, this is uh, what uh, assigning a good reviewer and a relevant reviewer for the paper in this process is important. So there are some challenges in the current method that uh, we're using to assigning uh, reviewers to the uh, papers. The first one is that uh, after the uh, submission deadlines, uh, each reviewer has to uh, bid on the papers that uh, submitted to the uh, venue. And uh, as you know, there are, each reviewer should scroll over a bunch of uh, papers and uh, it's kind of impossible to find the most re relevant papers that the uh, reviewer uh, are aware of the area. So not al not also this process is very time consuming, but also uh, not all, uh, he or she uh, can't find the relevant documents, uh, the, the relevant uh, papers to review. So uh, we have to create a model that can automate the process. Before that, we should know uh, what are the criteria in uh, this process and uh, considering them when we want to create a model. The first one is that, as all of you know, is that uh, the recommended reviewer should be an expert in the area. And after that, as there are some uh, a number uh, agreement between the reviewer and the uh, venue, the conference or the journal, uh, we have to assign a limited number of papers to each uh, reviewer. Uh, and also, each paper needs to be reviewed by uh, more than one uh, reviewer, because maybe uh, some reviewer have bias over a uh, topic. And uh, this is the reason that uh, some conferences uh, select more than maybe two or three reviewers per paper. And then uh, is a senior reviewer that uh, discuss the uh, all comments and then make the final decision. And the last one uh, is the COI, which uh, stands for um, conflict of interest. As you know, uh, the reviewer that uh, shouldn't uh, be in the same institution with the author of the paper, and also they shouldn't be the co-author in the last five years, and some other criteria that you could easily find them on the internet. Uh, I just mentioned some uh, sample of them. But uh, how we formulated and the problem, as all of the people in the data science team 
uh, of uh, the review early of, uh, from the information retrieval and have the information retrieval background be formulated if in an information retrieval way. So this is the way that we uh, look at the problems. Uh, we have a query, we have a corpus and sort of document and passages. And uh, we need a model that can find the most relevant documents uh, to a query. So we formulated this problem at uh, uh, this way that each query in this uh, formulation is a paper. And what we need is the most relevant author for each paper. And we need a model that can find the most relevant author to a paper and then assign each of them to uh, review uh, the papers. Actually, the other here in the uh, final system are the reviewers. But here, as I want to use the uh, OpenAlyx uh, entities, uh, here the others are the other in OpenAlyx, uh, uh, actually other sets, and the papers are the works. So the challenges that we uh, faced before uh, created, creating the model uh, was that we need some data to train our model. In information retrieval, we have some data set uh, to train the model and then use it in the other uh, subset in, for testing. But uh, in this case, uh, before using OpenAlyx, we used uh, DBLP and PubMed, but uh, which uh, just cover uh, the computer science and biomedical area. But by using uh, OpenAlyx, now we have uh, 26 models that uh, cover all areas uh, to that can, I mean, every conference can use this model. And also another challenge was how should we present the authors? Uh, the thing that is important is that in information retrieval, that way that we look at the problems, uh, query is a text and also each document is a text. And I, I mean, it may be a paragraph, a sentence or whatever. But here we need to present, I mean, find a, a textual way to present each other. The way that we use is that uh, concatenated all of the abstract of each author during a specific period of time and present each other by that uh, data. So uh, each paper, each query actually, and each paper is a, uh, it can be either uh, presented by its uh, title or abstract, but each other is uh, the uh, concatenated of abstract of his or her uh, um, works. So, and the last one is that uh, for uh, embedding this textual data, we use Cyber, which is um, a third model that uh, has been fine-tuned uh, on the, tech, on the uh, scientific uh, text. So, uh, as I mentioned, we now have 26 models that each of them is responsible for a field in the uh, topic, uh, for uh, the field level of the OpenAlyx topics, as you know, uh, Recently, OpenAlyx uh, released a topics, uh, topics key in the works, and we used it to uh, create uh, the model separately to have more fine grained models. In this way, each model, for example, we have a model for computer science, another one for uh, civil engineering, for biomed, and for each area, we have uh, a model. And as I mentioned, this is the way that we uh, split the data. First, we uh, just uh, sampled the data between 2000 and 2024, and each author in this set uh, uh, is represented by the works from uh, this period. And also, the test set is the works after that. And the architecture architecture that we used uh, is a very famous one, actually, in our area called uh, my encoder that uh, give a, a vector for the paper and the author, and by giving a cosine similarity between uh, the, these two vectors, uh, we give a similarity score. And the goal here is to increase the similarity score between uh, the paper and the real author of that paper and decrease it between the uh, paper and a non-real author of that paper. So this is an uh, overview of the uh, model and way that it works and you can see that uh, in each conference we have a submissions and a pool of others. Our model assigns uh, the 
actually the most expert others, uh, the most expert, expert reviewer to each uh, submitted uh, paper. And uh, these are the uh, entities uh, from open hours that we used in our work, uh, actual authors and works, uh, as I mentioned, and topics, but uh, we use in institutions uh, for uh, detecting the uh, conflict of interest. And also we have planned to use sources uh, to suggest more accurate reviewers for each uh, paper. And these are some uh, products from our team. Uh, the most uh, famous one is our uh, web application that you can simply create a uh, full of orders and submit them and get the uh, reviewers for uh, the work that has been submitted to a conference. And also these are some other works and that are, uh, that is, this one is our plugin that you can select a uh, text in the internet and find the related papers. And also we have an uh, OGS, OGS uh, plugin and also uh, our API, we can you know, use it for to directly in your code and have the uh, reviewer and the papers uh, directly in your code. Thank you everyone for your attention. Uh, feel free to ask any question that you have. And um, this is the way that you can uh, connect us and also you can find me uh, and X and also by my email, feel free to ask your question. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much.